30 minutes after the c conclusion of the last game, I'm back on the Toronto Mounties. Both teams are coming off a of bye week. As both teams are going to try to. They're coming off healthy. London. London didn't go back to the Monarchs didn't go back to London after during their bye week. They just stayed in Philadelphia while they while their team was on a bye. It's the coach and this is Madden 19 on EA Sports. All right. Straight ahead, we've got a good one in store between the London Monarchs and the Toronto Mounties. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the London Monarchs and the Toronto Mounties. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Toronto ball club as they interplay here. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Londoners, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Some... All right, we are ready here from Toronto. As the kick is away. This is fielded at the chalk of the tenth. Field at the 10 will take it down to the 29 yard line. Of the 30 yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by a former Pro Bowl quarterback out of the University of Georgia, Matthew Stafford. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The, the numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception? Continue to take care of the ball. Stafford. Increase the number of times he puts the Going ball back, throws left, left incomplete. And, his first pass is incomplete. and so we'll see the starting start lineups. The drive, but that one incomplete. And the Buffet Boys, the O line. Hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Second down and ten for Toronto. They'll fake the Play game. action. Now Stafford. Stafford. Will throw right Open side right complete side Ingram. to Ingram. To the to en Ingram. And it'll be third down. third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter. Can you do Third down and three they catch it. for the Mounties. The Stafford. Gonna throw complete to Ingram. And he'll go down at the 38 yard line for a first down. From an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route is extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position. Yeah, I think it is. First down more more, for tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some for Toronto who can make a play in any spot on the field. Stafford. Well, Stafford. And throw right side complete. To Amendola. And we'll see Just a yard the, the starting lineup for London. Look at our starters here on defense. They've been pretty solid against the pass. Toward the middle of the pack number 14 in the NFL. And for all the routes to keep an eye on in this one, they've got to find a way to take away the crossing routes. Those are the ones that when a receiver catches it on the run, 
those can really hurt a defense. Second down and nine. Out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Stafford going to hand it off this is Aaron Jones. to Aaron Jones, and he'll go down at the 36, and it's third down. Malden the, the fourth with the tackle on the play. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation. Already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. Third down to nine. Stafford. Throw a right side complete to Danny Amendola. He'll step out of bounds at the 16 inside the red zone. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. This will be their first trip. They come up first, first down for Toronto. From the red zone now. Stafford going to throw left side complete. And he'll be taken down to his to receiver, Lamar. Robert Woods. The numbers for Woods last week, five catches, 66 yards. And most teams mark down big plays as ones that gain 10 yards or more. He certainly has big playability, and we just saw it on display. But First down and goal at the two. The end zone there, but now they're set up. Golden opportunity, strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. Stafford will hand it off to did. Lewis. No, that's Jones, sorry. And Jones will be down at the four for a two-yard loss. Football, his accuracy on this drive, you might want to think about a pass play in this situation. Mm, interesting. Time to find out. Stafford to hand it off to Jones again. And he'll go down to the three. And it's third and goal. Hitchens with the tackle for London. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it because to Third down and goal at the three. No fumbles this season for their running back. Would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Heading it off and he'll get stuffed. And he'll get blown. And so it'll be fourth and goal with a field goal with a field goal unit about to come on. And it'll be fourth down. Patrick Murray now on. Here's Patrick Murray. This an easy one. 23 yarder. 23 yard attempt for him. Kick is up and it is good. Toronto up three nothing. On the opening drive. So the field goal there counts for winds up to be an 11 play drive. That's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? And they're, they're going to kick off. Playbook, trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six. Almost going to go deep. And, and the back of the end zone. 25-yard line. line where they'll have it so after the touchback. For the first time. As we get set to see Josh Rosen command this offense, the number 10 pick in the 2018 draft. And no excitement unless you, unless you're on the defensive team of last week in his numbers because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown pass. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. First down so, and ten for London. This week has been tough on him because he's been working hard, fundamentals, footwork, finding the right time. Handing it up. Bottom line, gets the first it? down and more. And down Got the forty. The That's Lamar and Miller. 15 yards. Well, how many times do we say in this game is speed kills and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole. First down and 10 for down. London. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just out running people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. Now throw it right Rose side complete. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Mitchell. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week. Third down, really second down. Hand it off first down and more. Down to the 46 of, of, of Toronto. And we have reached the end of the first quarter. Most of these Jeez, guys time flies. They have a lot of pride in their performance.
sitting alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon as it's London football to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. And it's first down and so ten for London. Side of field now, Changing sides of the field. As they've got things rolling on this drive. At the Toronto 46. On first down, Rosen, the throw, throw right First side complete to A.J. Green. To Green and he'll get up to the 37-yard line. Give and it'll be second down. down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus I don't know on if that's on the defense or the offense. The Let's see. Day. False start, offense. I love call it on the offense. Jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes Eesh. when you see that, that means the play call Excuse is supposed me. to come in his direction. Second down and six. Rosen. The throw left side complete. That's a one yard gain to the 42, and it's going to be third down. Many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. Third down and six for London. Rosen going to throw incomplete, almost intercepted. Jason McCourty would have loved to have that one. That's going to be fourth down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. Let's this say this will be a, shy of midfield, a 59 yard and attempt. that's going up and, and it is no good just missed it and it's going to be first down well this winds up an empty possession everything looked okay he just never got the ball on target and knowing him to be disappointed with that effort Now this offense about ready to take over again. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. First That's down their own 49. That offense, Steps that back. The throws the screen. The can he get past him? He can. Across midfield. Down at the 45. <laughs> And Eric Weddle's injured for London. We'll get an injury update on him with on the next Toronto yeah, offensive seven, drive. First down pass play. Second down three. and three for Toronto. Stafford on puts it out left Jones. to Jones, and he'll get to the 45 as it's going to be third down. Ben Gideon in on the stop. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Third down and three for Toronto. Stafford, Stafford going to throw a right side, He's completes to his receiver Ingram. And he'll go down to the 24 yard line and it's first down. chuckle they called him old reliable yeah that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to but he still knows all the tricks doesn't he even that little gentle push off in order to get open he finds a way to pick up a first down clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and first ten. down for london uh, excuse me toronto at the 24 back to throw throw left side complete to Ingram and he'll get past the line of scrimmage for the first down back to back nice plays 12 yards that time and a first down and defensively they were in zone coverage there do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, First down defensive and 10 tackle. for Toronto. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback. Stafford. Try and cover downfield. 
Steps up, throwing up, end zone, incomplete. And Wesley is injured for Toronto. We'll get an injury on, update on him soon. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first Second down and ten at the twelve. Stafford, throwing right side, incomplete, over the head of his receiver, and it's third down. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue Third down to and 10 for Toronto. Makes an adjustment, takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on Stafford that rolls left, throwing. End zone! Oh, he... the end zone, but as it stands, so it's going to be fourth forward. down. They're going to go for another field goal attempt. Oh, need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's Kick is up, He's and it's hit. good. Toronto it leads it 6-0. Yeah, During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. He'll return it to the 28. Game, isn't he? And, and it's going to be first down. Them, if they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And here now the offense heading back out there. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? First down and 10 for London. The answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offense. By action, Rosen. Rosen going to go complete across the 50. Head down at the 48. Goes for 24 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. First down and 10 for London. Handing it off to Miller. And he'll go down to the 42-yard line as we have reached the two-minute warning. It's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back here right after this. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will also, have stats I, I and want to remind you that on one more game of this temporary window of games to be played here 30 minutes after the conclusion of this one. Second down and four for London. Here's the snap. Rosen. Going to throw it left side and it's incomplete. Third down and four at the 42. Two minute drill time. Rosen will throw right side complete. To his body, bump the football bump. Luckily, luckily, AJ Green is there to pick it up. And they saved the football. They saved. Clay fumbled the football. I don't know if it's a fumble or not. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession oh, and that's, turning it over to their offense. That, that doesn't be matter, but it they because they caught exactly it. Exactly right. A lost opportunity. But I think they aren't they not gonna go to review. They don't need to. They got the ball back. Rosen. Wilson has top game, Chase goes down at the 36. Junior Gallette with the sack. It's going to be second and 19. Plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Second and long and gotta be careful. Second down and 19. At the 36. 
Rosen. Going to go right side complete to his tight end, Charles Clay. And it's going to be third down. We come back. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gondolin. Back here in, Davis, so back here north of the border in Toronto. And now we're set to get going. And it's going to be third down and 13 at the 30. One minute to go in the half. Rosen. Screen to Bell. Oh, excuse me. That's Miller. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. No. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, that was Miller. Sorry. I was right. Okay. That was Lamar Miller the with the reception on sideline. And now it's going to be fourth down. Field goal is going to be 44 yards. Kick is up. And, and it's good. And so and London on is now on the board. Six it's 6-3. So to three. Something to build on, maybe. Yeah, go ahead and raise the banner, right? The, wave the flag. That's good. Got points. And now, as you said, they've got something to build on as they get ready for the second half. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. And kick it away. And that goes and into the back of the end zone. Sails over the and line. that's going to be first down. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there. First down and 10 for Toronto. 51 to go at the 25. Get on out for the half. Now a first down throw. Stafford's going to heave it. Incomplete. And it's going to be second down. And now it's second down. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They yeah, really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp. Second strong. down and ten didn't now. To completion though, made it very difficult. For Toronto. Second and ten, Stafford again. Pump fake. Throw is incomplete. Incomplete. Danny Amendola. Danny Amendola. Third the intended receiver, and it's going to be third down. Here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. The offense on third down. They've converted three out of five. Third down and ten for Toronto. Handing it off. To Jones. He'll go down at the 30. And another timeout's been called by Toronto. It's going to be fourth down. Oh, that's that's right. I got to get you to the injury report. That's right. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go right here, medical center. Okay. So Mike Gillisley, complete P, he just tore, he tore his PCL, he's out for the season. I'm confused, when I looked into the injury report earlier, he said he was only out for two more weeks. Something's, something's not adding up. Alright, back to it. Alright, so, the red card who was replacing... G Gifford Bowman, who who got injured in practice, has a neat cartilage tear, and it in his absence is to be determined. So for the Monarchs, Eric Weddle has a strained tricep; he's out for the game. Let's go back to let's get back into the game. Here's Will Monday now. So back he'll punt it away. To Ty Tyreek Hill is back deep for Tur London. That one's booted deep. Peck caught at the 20. Looked like he almost dropped it. And they'll start the 23. 
or four later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turned it over there. That's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. First down and 10 for London. He's going to hand it off to Lamar Miller. He'll go down to the 26-yard line. It'll be second down. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to Second down and eight the moves on, at the and 26. And we have so reached halftime. This is your game, 6-3, three, three field goals. So I'll break. take my minute break here. Orlando, we'll we'll, check in I'll be back Jonathan soon. Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. And welcome in everybody to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Time for a look around the NFL here in week three of the new year. We'll kick things off in Charlotte, an NFC South matchup pitting New Orleans against Carolina. And it's the Panthers who are out in front. Deshaun Watson has thrown a touchdown pass. From there, we head to the Big Apple, more specifically to MetLife Stadium in Jersey to check on the Giants. And they've got the lead over the visiting Chicago Bears. LeGarrette Blunt accounting for the lone scoring thus far as he's cashed in with a touchdown run. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Tampa Bay Bucks. Marcus Mariota, two touchdown passes as his guys remain unbeaten. In the game you're watching, it's Matthew Stafford who's had it working in the first half. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentator, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two All teams right. as we come back for this second. As they'll get it away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. Second at the 10. He'll go nice down at the 30. And that's where London will have it. Time for our first check of the NFL scoreboard. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And we'll keep you abreast of how that one shakes out. So here they come, the road team now getting the football first to start this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk? First down for, to, for London. Typically what they're doing is emphasizing Frozen. the things that went well in the I first throw. half. Complete. He jokes a man. That's A.J. Green. He'll get past midfield to the 47. But overall, I think they want to stay positive. Stay up with this team. We're just Ted yards on the, the on the run after catch. And then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. First down and ten for for London. Here's the snap, handing it off. He fumbled the football. It's recovered by Toronto. As they'll get back at their own 47. Oh, I don't think he's down. I mean, I think he, you know what I mean. I think he's down. I'll say they might go to the booth. There is. There's the booth review. I think this call might get overturned. As you see here, look at it. They want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. He has he secured the ball to the ground. That's not a fumble. Let's see what the refs say. 
And it's not a fumble. London retains possession at the 44. Throws it, pressure, gonna throw, complete. To his tight end clay. And bad news. Rosen's hurt. Rosen's hurt. And we've got a man down. Man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. And it looks like he's grabbing his wrist going into the locker room. So the backup quarterback's coming into the game. I forgot who he was. Yes, we'll see here. The first throw for the backup Lynch. That is first oh, that's Paxton Lynch, the backup. Try to go back to so it'll be second line. down at the 32 for Paxton Lynch. And we see yet another Aaron throw as a result. After the incomplete pass here now is second and Second and ten, 10 for London at the 32. Lynch is going to hand the ball off to Miller. He'll go down to the 31-yard line, and it's third down. Third down and nine at the 31. Lynch. Throwing right side complete. To Charles Clay, he'll go down to the 13-yard line. And it'll be first down. Here, a nice route, able to look it in and picks up the first down. Till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity. First down and ten. They have a first and ten at the 13 for line. London. First red zone trip for the game. Farrell is in motion. Handing it off to Miller. He's going to push his way down to the 11. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. They're not eight now for the Monarchs. Luck rolls left. Throwing right side. It's incomplete. KJ Green. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass that allowed them to disrupt the play. This offense so far on third, third and down, eight now for the, the Monarchs. This is third and eight. Let's go. Out of the gun. Luck. Lynch. Paxton. And we'll go to to AJ Green, but it's we incomplete. Cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams, and there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. No, that was Malcolm Mitchell. I'm sorry. Bullock's going to kick the, the field goal to tie the game at six. Pick is up and good, and we are tied here in Toronto. So they come away from this opening drive in the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. This is taken about seven Back to the back of the end zone. Take a knee. And it'll be first down there. And it comes out to the 25-yard line. Coming out to the 25-yard line. The offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. 
And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to see First down for Toronto at their own 25. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Stafford throwing right side and complete. Pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost Second like a out of ten game in baseball for Toronto. Sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? So, <laughs> They'll run it now. Going to hand it off to Lewis. He jukes a man. And he will dive for the first down. I'm sorry, that's Jones again with the run. And that was a Wouzier with the tackle. First down at their own 36. Shepard. Door right side complete. I'll go out to the 41, and it's second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first Second down. and down. Se second and five. He's going to head it off to Jones, and he will go down to the 45. That's going to be third down and one. He got some good news this week. He was named AFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's effort. And part of the reason he got that award, because of plays like that. Not every play is spectacular. Not every play is for a loss. Make the plays that are in front of you. Keep it to short gains and you pile up statistics. Stafford going to roll right. It's caught. And he'll bring it up to the... 50 for the first down. His way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was affected, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Stafford now. First down for Toronto at the 50. The He's got a first and 10. Andrew in motion. Play action. Pressure coming and Stafford will go down at the 41. Molded with the sack. And it's going to be second and 19 at the road 41. To adjust and account for that. But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones, maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability. Second to 19 for and Toronto. To at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Hang it up. And an injury timeout as Taniko is hurt for London. So we'll give you the injury update. Deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down. At the 38. Play action. Stafford going to throw. Deep and incomplete as we reach the end of the third. As London as it's tied 6-6 in Toronto. We come back. Welcome back to Toronto. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Here's Will Monday now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. Oh, no. Oh, I thought he was going to block it. Going to the back of the end zone. And it's going to be a touchback. And now back out comes the offense. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end. Baxter with a Lynch is still in. So we'll see what happens. I'll give you the update on the on the next drive. 
Heading up, and he'll go down at the 20. Levante, Levante David with the sack. against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit him with a screen soon. Back there. Steps forward. It looks like Lynch wants to try to run. But he gets stuck. I thought he crossed the line of scrimmage. And it's going to be second and ten for London. At their own 20. And they hand it off. And he'll get only a couple up to the he'll 22. go down to the 22 yard line. Well, That's third line. down. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. And this offense on third down today. Third down and eight for now for London. This, this is third and eight. Here we go now. From the gun, it's Lynch. Lynch, the step up. Throwing right side complete. And it'll get a first down on the play. Down to the 47. Still their own side of the field, though. A.J. Green with the reception. And the thing about it, it doesn't have to be a bunch of big plays. Sometimes one big play can be enough. That's why it's tough to deal with a guy like that. Lynch now. Just two of five since coming on, but he does have a first, first down, down for Lynch and the Monarchs. Gonna hand it off to Miller, and he'll go to the 50, and it's second down. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Second and seven at the 50. Great it's a motion. From midfield now, here's Lynch. He's going to catch the ball at the 36. And that will be another Six London first down. first down. Looks like they're creeping on the Six red zone. The Looks like they yeah, might the score. position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often. But more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Lynch now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Six for six. That's good. First down. Lynch. A throw incomplete over the head of his receiver. He was looking for Charles Clay as tight end. Wait, six for six? He has not got six for six. Just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass. Second and ten. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here we go now. Green, 39. Ten carry now. Handing it off. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard. So Lamar Miller, he'll go down to the 35, and it's going to be third down. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. And they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. One of the bigger plays in the game. Third down and nine for London. As we come up on a big third down. Now Lynch. Lynch steps forward. Pressure at the middle and down he goes. Jarrett with the sack. He'll go down at the 40. That's going to be fourth down. Favoring something in the left leg appears to be fine now, but you're right, that O line, they got to protect it. So they bring their punter out there now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Fourth down. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets his that one will go out of bounds.
comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over. Here's the offense they're out here. At least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get First out down for goal. Toronto. Right, you're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five Handing or it six off first downs. To Jones. To make sure you move the ball into their territory. So and he'll go do it down to the 14. Is the tally on first I, down. I think I might have jinxed London on the last play. And it's Time the two break. minute warning. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. We'll be back here after this break. Oh, that's right. That's right. So it's our home team here. Promise we'll see the injury report. We come back. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break. So, let's get over to the medical center. Josh Rosen has a shoulder tear, and he'll be out for for a little bit. I don't know how long, how many weeks, but I know he's gonna be out for a little bit. So. It looks like Paxton Lynch will start for the next few games. So follow me on Twitter for for more injury news about Josh Rosen and all the other players from around the league. Second and five now. Gonna throw Stafford. And it's caught by Jones. That's gonna be third down. They call me crazy, but they did they just switch side? Did they just switch sides of the field? Very happy with what you're doing. I don't know. The offense on third down. Third down and four. percent four for eight. This is third and four. Stafford. Stafford. Gonna throw a right and side. That's complete. He'll go down at the 24 yard line. That's gonna be another first down. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Stafford will throw a complete. Still go down at their own 32. They'll hurry their guys up. Second and two. Ingram. Ingram with the catch. Stafford. Complete. That's another first down. Clock running under a minute. Amadola with the catch. Watkins with the tackle. First down. Now Stafford. Stafford. Gonna throw a complete. And did he get there? Did he? Yes, he did get there. It's another first down. Jones, third reception for 18 yards. That's Shazier with the tackle. Stafford. Gonna throw a left side. Complete. And it's gonna be second down and inches. 27 seconds to go. Oh, and they jumped offside. Yeah, that's a false start, I mean. Stafford, a throw, complete. And a timeout's called by Toronto with 22 seconds to go. Looks like it might be in field goal range. But I would go a few yards. Maybe get another first down just to make sure. Stafford going to come up first and 10. And he's hit on his last seven straight passes. Let's see. Handing it off to Jones. Jones trying to push through. And they'll blow it down with 17 to go. Another timeout's called by Toronto. With 17 seconds to go.
<laughs> Welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout. Second and down and nine. As we resume action. Hanging off to Jones job. again. And they're going to bring the field goal oh, unit on. Much better shape now on and London will hour. try to ice the and kicker. Will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. All right, so the timeout. Third and one. This is it. Out onto the field for the defense. Kick is up for the win. Good. Celebration time on that side. And Dorado takes the lead with one second left. Seconds. The home crowd here absolutely loves it as they should. Getting the field goal in the closing moments and likely going to get out of here with a W. A W. Celebrations all around. How about And they're going to return it. Stadium, right? You know something? He probably makes more money than most of the 60,000. And the game's over. He's a man of the people right now. <laughs> well, this one, partner, was fun down to the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won. <laughs> and fun for us, because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, but what a game all the way through. So for the home team here, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 and one now on the year. And they will hit the road next week. Meanwhile, for our visitors, they'll fall to 1-2. and two, And they will be at home next week to take on the New York Giants. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody. Okay. Once again, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, leave a like. Share, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And follow me on follow me on Twitter for more injury news around the league and what's happening with Josh Rosen. My Twitter's in the link. Uh, my Twitter's in the link in the description below. And I want to remind you that in in about 28 minutes, the San Antonio Marshals will take on the Brooklyn. Beats. So, once again, I want to thank you for watching.